Hey guys, welcome back to the Iron Squid Europe Qualifier here with myself, Kyle Aris, and Mr. Root Todd. How are you doing, man? Yeah, doing pretty good. A little bit stressful to get to stream like this because I'm really not used of it, but starting to get a little bit more of a handle. Ah, don't right. worry about it, man. Don't worry. I'll uh, hopefully, because again, uh, just to tell people what was pretty much going on, our studios here in the ESL were a little bit hectic, so. Normally, because I stream a lot, I would have been okay to do it, but Todd here saved me and is taking it up, so really, really appreciate that, man. <laughs> so thank you very much. No problem, man. Um, I think that for the next one, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that our studios will be all good, so I'll be able to, I'll be able to do that as well. Uh, but for now, we are going to be jumping into our second series of the day between Ares uh, and Bicycle, who I have no clue who Bicycle is, but we have some more, well, I say more PVZ, but the, the first PVZ was a little bit weird, so anyway, let's jump on in. We have Ares spawning down to the south here as our blue Protoss, and up to the north, we have Mr. Bicycle going to be spawning as our red Zerg, so... Antigua Shipyard to kick things off once again. Ores, um, he's not on AAA anymore. I can't remember what team he's on now. Um, I'm not sure hmm. myself, but he's not Protoss player. He's Terran. Hey, he is. <laughs> you know, yeah. Ores is the guy who beat Naniwa at the Extreme Masters in the open bracket. Yeah, he. Yeah, what? what is going on today? <laughs> Why does everyone all of a sudden want to play Protoss? This is know. weird, man. But you're right. Like, Naniwa went into the Intel Extreme Masters, and he, his first opponent was Ores in the open bracket, and Ores beat him 2-0, didn't he? So, as Terran, not Protoss. I should ask hmm. after the game. It makes me very curious. Yeah. So, Bicycle, we don't know too much about this gentleman either. Well, I mean, we don't know too much about this gentleman. Ores, we do know a bit about, because, again, he is a Terran player, and in terms of his... Normally I'm a statistics guy. Normally I'm the guy who pulls up win ratios and who they've beaten in the past. But with everyone changing races, it sort of throws that out of the window. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm a little bit stumped. Oh well. And we're going to have a hatch first at 15 for bicycle. Should be followed by a pull rather quickly. And Horace, he did not scout yet. He might not scout. So actually he might be yeah. going for the Edel Scott build. I think... Edel Scott is inspiring all these players. Like they're all switching race and going for his build. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you mean the two base five gate thing with a gateway opener into expansion? Yeah, Edel Scott opener is against Zerg is always the same. He doesn't scout and then he gets one yeah. zealot, one sentry, and then he throws down an exist and then he walls his expansion. But actually, Ares is going to scout now. Okay, so. Um I mean, off the top of your head, is there any reason you can anticipate for him changing Protoss here? Or is it just, are we both completely baffled by this? Because right now I am completely baffled. Maybe he got tired of TVZ. Maybe, and I know maybe. a lot of Terrans in Europe whine about Zerg. Mm. So maybe he thought it would be fun to play Protoss against Zerg, but that would be very foolish of him. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it not too fun? Is that what you're trying <laughs> to say? <laughs> It depends, okay. And Bicycle, um, he anticipated, well, yeah, he did not scout with a drone. He seemed mm. to have anticipated this like rather well, because he went for gas before pull. Yeah. And, um, I mean, it's a rare thing that Zergs can get away with hatchery first anyway. So, but, I mean, he's, he's certainly done it in this matchup. And here, Ares is just going to add on the gas. He's just going to get some sentries out. And from there on, yeah, it's just... What? Uh, okay, so an interesting start here to the Iron Squid European qualifier <laughs> is what I want to say. But look, the Zerg, he has a lot of gas, but he's not making speed. So I thought this might be a banning boss for a second, but now he just made a spine crawler in his main. I don't understand why. And uh, mm -hmm. this drone, it had minerals in his hands, in its claws. So maybe basically it's not so good. I don't know. Uh, he does have two coins now. He seems to be worried about a foregate or some kind of early aggression. So now he's making speed finally. But look, he's mined so much gas already. Yeah, it's an interesting little 
variation uh, with the two spines. Um, and also, just as a disclaimer, guys, uh, if, if you have people participating in the tournament, um, the binary servers were down for binary beasts. So, uh, oh, Zergling's actually going to try and get in here, though. Hold that thought. <laughs> but they get tickled away at. So, nicely done there, but Aurus. <laughs> Wasn't really much, though. I mean, just the Zergling sacrificed themselves. So, yeah. <laughs> I think he needs to make a pylon. 26 out of 28. A bicycle says, oops, I forgot something. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I think he means uh, speed, because he made speed really late. He had like yeah. almost 200 gas when he made it. And now he's got a lot of gas. He should just take to Lair and get Mulas, do something smart, man. Yeah, I mean, anything at this point with that gas would be quite useful. And he has quite a healthy mineral buildup as well, so he's going to send the drone out for a macro hatch. Is he gonna go for like? Is he gonna throw like a Banelin nest down and just try that? Oh, I, I genuinely don't know. <laughs> Me too. I think he doesn't know himself. He has, to, he has yet to decide. Ah, someone says in chat, bicycle is my brother mid gold, so that might be an explanation. I mean, of course, no offense to this gent, but still, that might be a little bit of an explanation as to what we're seeing here. And this um, is the wrong one as well. Uh, I hear yeah. some echo. Do you have speakers? Uh, no, I do not have speakers. Weird. So, I do apologize for that. Um, Were you hearing it before, the whole time? No, 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 just now, but now it disappeared again. Ah, strange, okay. Uh, so he's added one more hatchery in his main, and now he's taking to lair. Mm -hmm. Does have a lot of drones in his main, I see. It's 30 to 35 drones. And yeah, RS is going to do pretty much the same as what Never Say GG did in a previous game, but... Yeah, uh, his execution seems a lot better so far. Like if yeah. you look at his saturation in his main, it's perfect, 16. In his expansion, getting there, he's stacking quite some chrono boost. Will be interesting to see if uh, he uses it on anything. Uh, it's funny I how he's making pylons along the way. Like if he gets lost, you know, he can find a way back. Like just follow the pylons. <laughs> some breadcrumbs. Oh, bless! That's so cute. You're right. But yeah, I, I I think all the players are trolling us. I think. Everybody who's not a Protoss going up against the Zerg is gonna switch to Protoss and they're gonna use this five gate pressure like all tournament long. I, they're, they're talking quite a lot. What are they saying? <laughs> I think Bicycle said he had uh, left the stream open. He forgot to close it. And he's like, oh. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless. Well, I mean, this is a lot of pressure. Aura's hitting with a very, very healthy gateway force. And meanwhile, um, there are no Zerglings out on the map. There are 32 in production, though, so that's going to help Bicycle out, unless they get caught by force fields. But even that didn't happen. Uh, but there's still plenty of force fields. So, natural, there you go, GG, guys, for game number one between Bicycle and Aures. That was weird. 